Red Bacall, then I'm an addict. I ain't really. What do you mean, not really? Ain't really. I'm only here because my wife's nagging me. She's driving me up the wall. You need help. You got it bad, Red. You're like that kid in Westchester who's addicted to buzz saws. Who? The kid with the nubs. Will you knock it off? You sound like one of those damn women from Intervention. You wasted your life. Why do they call you Red? Because I used to have red hair. Well, by that logic, shouldn't they be calling you gray now? Well, look at you. They should be calling you ugly, stupid. So which is it? Stupid or ugly? Both. He's stugly. That's uncalled for. I want a ruling. Overruled, Andy. Now wait your turn. Um, now, Red, tell me, when did your problem first develop? Well, Angela, we received a computer from our oldest son, Earl. He's a good kid. He's in prison now. He was caught selling other people's things again. He used to do that as a child. We hoped that he would outgrow it. We pray that someday he will outgrow it. Wow. I would love to talk to your son. He's in the hole now. Shank to guard. I should have seen it coming. Just last week he was saying, if they serve fish and liver around here one more time this week, I'm shanking a guard. <clears throat> Why didn't I listen? Yeah, they talked about adding a couple more years to his sentence. But, uh, hell, he gets so bored so easy, he'd rather be put to death. <laughs> I haven't had a drink in four months. Excuse me, Ralph. Be patient. We'll get to you. Um, now, Red, tell me about your problem. It's not a problem. It's a hobby. You want to hear a problem? She spends over a hundred dollars a month on stuff to paint her toenails. And what's so weird about that? She wears shoes everywhere you go. You can't see them. You get to see them. I don't want to see them. They're stupid. Well, anyway, when we first got our computer, it wasn't that big a deal. Once or twice a night, I'd catch him doing it. Uh, then that turned into four or five times, and now it's into the hundreds. Well, you know what she does a hundred times a day? This. Hell, it's a wonder she even got his hair left. It's all he ever does. Every time I get an instant message from you, I know what it's going to be. Your addiction is stealing our love. That's the dumbest thing you've said in years. And you say a lot of dumb stuff. So that's saying something. Did I miss the part where they reveal he's in love with us? Oh, that's just great. I was really getting into this, and you ruined it. <sighs> just put Seinfeld on. If you want to feel better, Red, you are going to have to admit how you feel. Fine, Dad, come in. I love emoticons. I don't care who knows it. I'm tired of being embarrassed. I love them little bastards to death. If they were real, I would marry one of them. Red. Oh, honey, I know that sounded bad. But don't worry. I'd divorce you first before I married one of them. Aww. What makes you think he'd choose you? Nothing wrong with me. You're a boy. How can you tell? Is it that deep voice? Because I've been looking around and so far I'm not seeing any evidence. You're not alone. I too have a similar story. I had a great family, good grades, all the emoticons I could ever want. <laughs> and pretty soon, all I wanted was emoticons. If you like emoticons, little lady, you're in luck. I do my own blog. It's called Smiley's Aren't Pac-Man Without Limbs. Damn it. There's a lot of good stuff in there. I just know it's so freaky. We're all bald. <laughs>